So, Nigido, Alo. Tell Megiddo is Tell is a what's it called an archaeological mound, uh, <coughs> and here civilization is a bit different. Let's say from Egypt, where you have the major body of water, you have major cities along. You know, one pharaoh builds another city, then another city, then another city. Here, uh, so they're usually based on water source and a hill for protection, and here we have uh, a hill and an archaeological mound, if I take all your hats and go one on top of the other, that makes my tail. Takes a hill, then hat, 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 hat. Every hat is a layer of civilization. We saw Caesarea, okay, this is the old kind of style, but uh, get a sense of, you know, from top to bottom, uh, but we have layer after layer history. And as we go up the hill, we're going up through a gate to the city from three and a half thousand years ago, which I'll switch it to Biblically, I'll, I'll talk about not uh, late bronze, I'll talk about uh, Jacob, period of Jacob, three and a half thousand years ago. Maybe he was aware of the city, so he was, we'll talk about it. Then we'll come up a bit higher up, we'll come to time of, the gate maybe from the time of Solomon. Uh, and we have Biblical references also for, for Solomon, uh, Megiddo, talks about Megiddo. We'll get up on top of the hill and we'll look, all the, we'll see all piles of stones like this over here. But imagine you're talking about stables, or a palace down over there, or more stables over here, and we'll talk about Ahab and Solomon and the history from over here. And we'll look down into the valley through the haze, and we'll look and talk about all the stories, all the other biblical stories, and all the other wars that have taken place here, and maybe will take place in the book of Revelations uh, for the Armageddon. Uh, and this uh, this fortress controlling this valley. If that valley, we saw, I can race you through the map there, if the one way to go from uh, from Israel, from from Egypt to 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 Mesopotamia, you have to go through Canaan or Israel. The otherwise, other way to go, you don't want to go through Jordan. That's too much desert. You're not going to go through Saudi Arabia. You're not going through the deserts of the, the other deserts in this area. You want to go where there's clear history. For many Christians, a bit of an embarrassment. Okay, what happened in uh, the blood? Of the, it's kind of it's it's kind of a jihad period, the jihad period of Christianity. Uh, it's an exciting site, but there's nothing in the Bible there, so people just don't go there. Okay, or if they go there, they're here for two weeks. That kind of thing. Here, we always, we always go to the, the Christian, not the Christian, the, the, the Bible sites, because the Bible and the rocks come together. All the last 10 years, things have been very bad, and all the, the war, it was a very hard period, 2001, 2 and 3. Uh, and I say to them, things have been getting better now. They, say, they all say to me, well, maybe, but I don't think so, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> Are you sure it's now, okay? Are you sure it's now? Or is it another 100 years? Or another 200 years? Are we sure it's now, okay? Because I have a corner organization, I work with a very strong ladies called the End Time Handmaidens. They're the handmaidens for the end times, okay? And they, when they come up over here, they were here in, in March, about 100 strong, they're here for about two hours. Get a sense of prayer, a sense of what's happening over here, a sense of God purpose being now, okay? So this is Megiddo. The last thing we have to do is walk towards the water system. And we find these other groups are all doing the same thing. So it might be crowded by the water system.
dedicated to Jesus as the adolescents, a Celestian school, and also have our no-share golden buildings, a mosque. You always have mosques and churches next to each other in the uh, the Holy Land. Up to the right and top of the hills towards the Jewish neighborhoods of, of Nazareth, of Upper Nazareth. Uh, you have quite a few Orthodox and also churches. Very much the uh, the Christian presence and the largest Christian presence in Israel is going to be the Orthodox 
the Orthodox Church represented by the Greek Orthodox. The other churches are represented by, uh, uh, not by the population believing so much, but by a lot of the, the, the priests and the, the ministers representing the various orders from all over the world. เป็นเคยใช้อินดีเชื่อๆน้องเจ้าเลยเนี่ยเยซูเราต้องได้ Yandano the church in front of us like a light tower with the uh, lights of Gabriel coming onto Mary onto the house of Mary 180 feet from uh, the top of the building to uh, the remains of the House of Mary, because the belief is that it's the House of Mary.
Right up behind the, oh, yeah. Yeah, to the right over here, behind the trees over here, the wedding church. That's the Catholic yes, wedding church, and you have the Orthodox wedding church, and you have a church also to the now, and you have a lots of vendors selling Cana wine.